right now, especially for families that are pressed on costs, we could have insulin capped at $35 a month for everybody, not just for seniors. All it would take is for a few congressional Republicans to walk away from agreeing with Big Pharma and start agreeing with President Biden. That's not the only cost he's out to, uh, to cut. He was uh, in the House in, in that State of the Union speech calling for an across-the-board $2,000 out-of-pocket cap, something else that would help in a country where people are feeling the pinch of those prices that went up with post-COVID inflation. Uh, congressional Republicans are standing in the way of it, but he's going to keep pushing. He's trying to get rid of junk fees, uh, taking on credit card companies, uh, because we know that those are something that affects the cost of living. And look, uh, something else that comes into play alongside the cost of housing is the cost of transportation, which is why, after years and years of talk and years and years of failure, President Biden successfully began to implement the infrastructure bill that is now creating jobs, boosting income, and lowering the cost of our supply chains in every part of the country.